to my online music theory course. Um, the last lesson we talked about sharps and flats and um, they're called accidentals and we also went over semitones and tones. One accidental that I wanted to go over with you again is the uh, natural sign. So a natural sign looks like that. And we find those, um, if something had previously been sharp or flat, and we no longer want to have the sharp or the flat in our music. So I'll draw my staff um, this time. Let's use our bass clef or our F clef. And if I have an F sharp, let's say for example, in my music, and I want to change it to just be a regular F, I can't just write the F, and because I didn't write the sharp in, it's now going to be a normal F. Um, in music, once you have a sharp in, in your music, every note within that same bar or same measure is also going to be sharp or flat without having to rewrite the accidental. So if I saw this F and then that F, I would play another F sharp. But if I don't want to play an F sharp there, I would need to use a natural sign and that cancels any sharps or flats I had in that measure. Let's add to this and we'll treat that as our bar line in our music. Um, so if it was natural there and I went to the next measure, that bar line cancelled anything any accidentals that happened in the previous bar. So if I wanted another F sharp, I would have to sharp that. If I wanted another F in my music, but I wanted it sharp, I don't need to rewrite that sharp. But let's say I wrote another F, and I didn't want it sharp anymore, I would use my natural sign. And let's say I wanted another F, that I would need to re-sharp, because I've naturaled it in that same bar and then my bar line cancels it. So that's how we treat maybe, so that's how we treat accidentals within the same bar or if they occur in the following bar. Natural sign is used to cancel any accidental, any sharps or flats that were used within the same measure. And then the bar line cancels anything that was sharp, flat, natural in the, in the previous measure. So there's our natural sign. Remember that sharps will raise a note and flats will lower a note. And this should take you, this is on page 19, the natural sign, but this should take you right through to the end here of your tones, semitones, and accidentals page. There's a lot of worksheets in this page, um, in this chapter, um, but it's a, something that needs a lot of practice because in music, music is filled with accidentals and you'll need to know how to handle them. And in theory, when we get on to doing scales and such, you really need to know in order to build scales, what are tones and what are semitones. I hope this helps. Thank you.